Good evening, you guys. So I'm going to try to keep this short. Um, I was just outside stargazing and my wandering stars are back. Um, I pray that these are angels because <laughs> they keep moving. I wish I could just set up a video camera, you guys. I didn't expect to see the, the stars again tonight. Um, anyway, you know, I blew it off like it ain't nothing, but this thing is uh, fascinating to me. But I just want to confirm a word uh, for a sister because I did receive a message about uh, Sir. I told you guys back on May 29th and she put out a word about CERN and so I just want to let her know she's not crazy. <laughs> anyway, um, also... This is take two to this video because I had to search it for, and I don't know what to make of it yet. But Sunday morning, which was first day of uh, January 1st, um, I got up, well, I woke up, I heard the word that the Lord gave me. I got up about 30 minutes later, I heard what sounded like a fake I took it to be a fake chauffeur, chauffeur sound. It sounded like something was stuffed in the, uh, what, you know, sounded like something would be stuffed in the chauffeur. Um, I took it to be a deception. You guys, I'm on such a high alert. Um, it was so loud that I looked out my window and then I went outside and I was looking all around. And I just, at my immediate thought was deception. But then looking at, uh, looking it up just now, there are some chauffeurs that have broken sounds. There are four types. Um, I listened to a couple. It just didn't sound um, like what I heard. And like I said, ever, ever since then I've been hearing deception. And ever since then I've been hearing about... Um, Stephen Benanoon posted his stream and he also shared Jesus Lives 444 Sons Near Death Experience because his was similar or he found someone whose was similar plus his. Um, I've been seeing things about the Pope. I've been reminded about uh, deception dreams that I've been having. Um, I've been hearing deception, deception, deception this past several days. So... Um, I will remain prayerful on that show for a sound, but I took it to be a deception. <sighs> um, also, there's some things I have to cover about the planet and the destroyer that I saw. Um, if there is a deception, the pit will be open and Satan's minions will come with it. Um, I believe that's Revelation 13, you guys, or 9. I'm not sure. I don't have my Bible uh, phone. Maybe I can look at it while I'm talking. Um, also, the word that I received about CERN um, was on May 28th. And that was the same time that I believe I heard the word from what who I believe was the Lord. Um, I say that and I, anyway, so let me just tell y'all, uh, I heard CERN is messing with the earth's orbit or reversing it or trying to reverse it or reversing it and causing earthquakes. And I saw two, uh, interlocking circles, which were kind of not... Not the infinity sign, but just two interlocking circles like the uh, MasterCard symbol. And it seemed like one was going in one direction and one was going in another direction. I wrote it down in my book. I did not illustrate it here um, for the making of this video. Um, if I can find... A, a, it's just like two atoms going around. Two interlocking circles but in uh opposite directions it's been a while you guys 
but I wrote it down. I didn't pit like arrows to see, but uh, that's the best I can just uh, to illustrate it. But that's the best I can describe it. Um, also, either around that time, before that time, or after that time, I had a dream about uh, one of my deacons going to see somebody like in a wood wooded area. And somebody told him that this thing would be scary. Uh, but he was like, no. And then when this, when he saw this whatever in the woods and it was coming out, he ran. He had the most blood-curdling scream I have ever heard uh, from running from this thing. And then I heard, you will see another race of beings. Um, you guys, this is before I knew anything, before I started digging for CERN stuff. Um, speaking of CERN, that word, I believe there was an earthquake a day or two after, which one I don't remember. Um, but this is May 28th. So I didn't write the confirmation down of whatever earthquake it was. Um, and I just want to say you guys. Before I pick words out, I've been trying to wait a couple hours or a day um, as of lately, ever since I heard that like fake chauffeur sound, because I don't want to be deceived and I don't want anybody else to be deceived. Um, you know, every day I ask for increased discernment, increased wisdom, uh, I plead the blood of Jesus over my house, I ask for angels, so I hope those stars up there moving around are angels. Um, I will link Brother Ace's video below, he did a great video on it. After I heard that, uh, after I had that first dream about Turkey and stars gathering together and um, like shooting stuff. And then the day after in real life, they had a UFO attack. Um, so his video was helpful and I will link it below. Please go check it out. It talks about the wandering stars being angels. But you guys, I think we are in for some type of deception. So take every word that you hear from the Lord. Um, take every word that you hear to the Lord. Um, help each other. Uh, be in prayer. Uh, if I have said any words that I believe uh, are incorrect, I'll be the first one to come back and make an apology video. Um, but I'm on my P's and Q's right now. And if um, if I do give words or if I do share things, even if I'm giving like scripture in, in my dreams, um, as I have been getting lately, um, I will say I believe they are from the Lord. And um, just always pray for discernment, you guys. Like I'm... I have a fear of God of making mistakes and causing people to stumble, even babes. So, um, it's getting real. The deception, um, evil is increasing. We've seen this, uh, even on New Year's Eve with these turkeys attack, turkey attacks. I don't care if they're hoaxes or anything. If they were hoaxes, the, uh, the people were even evil enough to, um, plan them. For, for what reason? For what end result? Uh, to cause more chaos. Um, anyway, there is a worldwide agenda to take away guns. But um, I don't know if it's real or if it wasn't. I know I had a vision of it. The Lord showed me it for whatever reason. So um, whether, whether it was to reveal that they have an agenda or whether or not it was a real attack, um, I still pray for those people. So... Um, and I just say that because people, you know, anything that happens, people say it's a hoax. Uh, let's hope that this deception that is coming, that we recognize it as a hoax. Because um, things about to get real. I just really feel that. I've been seeing it and hearing it all week for the past five days, five to seven days straight. So, um, one more thing. Because I don't want to make another video about it. After I made the update for Little Wayne... The sister who I mentioned in the video, she also talked about the occult going out and, and on assignment to the churches and to, to sow seeds of sexual immorality. 
Um, and I really believe that's why Little Wayne wanted to have sexual relations with me. And um, in the dream, he was wearing colors that symbolized the occult. So I don't want to mention her name. Um, but I thank God for her sharing her experience as a victim of being born into the occult and being uh, victimized and being set free and delivered. I'm sure her testimony will help others and to help bring revelation to my dream. Okay, this is getting long. I love y'all. Good night. Uh, pray for discernment. Pray for wisdom. Pray for me as I pray for you. Okay, God bless y'all.